These three LEDs are representing three different processes in a computer. And what I wanted to show is a simple demonstration of time slices and processes. Now it looks like they're all the same brightness, but this one is running longer than this one and this one is running longer than this one. This one we're going to find out has five time slices, this one has three, and this one has two. So to see that I need to slow this down quite a bit. I'm going to add a capacitor here and that's going to slow it way down. Okay, now this one you'll be able to count five time slices, and this one will be three, then two. So this process has more time to run, this one has little less and this one has the least. And generally what happens in a computer, something that requires a lot of time, like video, would be given the most time to run than something like, oh, Wi-Fi here, and this would be something like the keyboard. Also, if you get into the BIOS, that's some of the stuff that you're messing with in there and changing the amount of time some processes can run. This is the wiring diagram and you'll notice that I drew it a little differently than I physically built the demo but of course electrically it's identical and in the center you can see that I've got a total of 10 time slices and how I divvied up the time slices 5 to the first process, process A then 3 time slices to process B and 2 time slices to process C. Now of course each of the time slices in a real computer could be many clicks of the clock. For instance, let's take the first example of process A, five time slices. Each one could be, let's say, 10 clicks. Well, that means that we would have 50 clicks altogether for that to run. And, of course, in the real world, that would be much more. But for demonstration purposes, one click per time slice will do nicely. If you get into engineering computers and CPUs, you'll run into some real-time issues. And also, if you uh, get into software engineering, you can run into real-time issues and it might be a good thing to understand a little bit about how time slicing works in multitasking computers. Thanks for watching.